Once in a while, a television show has an impact above and beyond mere entertainment. Such seems to have been the case of Star Trek. Science fiction has always inspired scientists. The Enterprise. The first United States space shuttle. Gene Roddenberry used science fiction as a metaphor. Star Trek told us a lot about brotherhood at a time when we needed that in this country. We were part of what is happening in the world. I couldn't believe the diversity that was on the bridge at the time. Everybody all over the world knew who Nichelle Nichols was. Being the first African-American woman on the bridge, having the first interracial kiss. He had just heard that I was thinking about leaving the show. Dr. King says, no, you can't. You can't leave. And this convinced her to take back her resignation and stay on the show. Leave any bigotry in your quarters. There's no room for it on the bridge. Human mind power and the best of the best is essential to the exploration of space. The argument was made by the National Institute of Sciences in the, in the mid-70s that there were no qualified black people. Oh, I dreamed of becoming an astronaut, but NASA said that women weren't being considered for the job. When is America going to put a woman in space? When is America going to put a black person in space? The astronaut corps was really kind of the old boys club. It was all white Anglo-Saxon male. They all come out of test pilot school. I resented that and decided I was going to do something about it. Michelle Nichols came on TV one day and she pointed at me and she said, I want you to join the astronaut program. She challenged them in NASA and her challenge turned into a mandate for her. She fully exploited what she could offer for the greater good of this country. She went into it to be an actress. She ended up changing the world. I'm helping NASA recruit the first women and minority astronauts for the space shuttle program. And they go, ha, ha, ha. I said, no, it's not funny, it's true.